nicotine nasal spray, and wisdom teeth, a detached drill, and a class two video. Hi, I'm Allie Cook for the Dental News Network. Today is January 9th, 2013, and this is your Wednesday Watch. Here is today's dental news brought to you by Dentsply Caulk. Use of nicotine nasal spray before wisdom tooth removal may reduce pain after the surgery. This is according to a new study completed on 20 patients who each needed all four wisdom teeth removed. The spray is intended to help people stop smoking, but according to the study, those who used it reported less pain after oral surgery. As is usually the case after a small study, further investigation is needed before this can be implemented into dental practices. In Sweden, a dentist's drill became unattached during a procedure and ended up in a patient's lung. She was unable to spit it out or cough it up, so after an x-ray confirmed its location, doctors were able to remove the drill. They used a small tube with a camera and a tiny pair of pliers. The hospital where this accident occurred reports that new precautions are being taken so that this does not happen again. Coming up, products and procedures, including a video, but first, here is a message from our sponsor. When performing a class two restoration, the unique combination of two notable products from Densply Caulk gives you a significant degree of control over the results. Paladin Plus, with its cutting edge design based on tried and true technology from the original Paladin system, and SureFill SDR Flow, a new generation of bulk fill flowables, and one of the most successful product launches in Densply Caulk's history. Do you need continuing education credits? Look no further, Dentistry Today is an approved PACE program provider and ADA SERP recognized provider. More than 300 courses are available now on our website. It's easy to find a course in the area of your choosing and payment is simple with our online option. Visit dentalcetoday.com now to earn your credits. Now I'd like to present a video from Dr. Lou Graham who performs a class two procedure. Dr. Graham uses Densply Cox Paladent Plus to create a secure ideal contact and he then uses SureFill SDR Flow, highlighting the material's ability to bulk fill to four millimeters. Let's take a look now. Here, I apply the Paladent Plus matrix to a maxillary bicuspid. I begin by placing the wedge guard interproximally. As I prep the tooth, the guard keeps me from nicking the adjacent tooth. It then detaches, leaving the wedge in place. After we've broken the angles of the tooth and the gingival line, we ease out the wedge and slide the matrix band down, then slide the wedge right back in. You can see that we've sealed the gingival margin and now we'll easily line up the marginal ridge. Using the narrow ring of the Paladin Plus system, we'll place it over the wedge and readapt it to ensure a tight seal. Now, we'll verify and burnish the contact area. I'm confirming that my wedge is not encroaching and I can get an ideal contact. My band does not move. It's quite secure and I know I'll get a good contact. It's so secure, in fact, that I can even replace the wedge if needed. Now, after selective etching and bonding with Xeno 4, we're ready to bulk fill with SureFill SDR Flow. Notice here the depth of the prep, which makes it an ideal candidate for SureFill SDR flow. It can bulk fill up to four millimeters. I don't have to layer, and it'll adapt well to the matrix and cavity. Its ability to bulk fill to four millimeters alone makes it an ideal companion to the Paladin Plus system. The prep box is filled and the material is light cured. Then the restoration is finished with TPH3 which I find is easy to handle and matches the surrounding tooth shades. Now we're ready to remove the matrix. Notice that the band is still snug between the teeth, maintaining its contacts throughout the procedure. After adjusting the occlusal anatomy, the next step is finishing with the enhanced system. Applying more pressure at the start and lightening up my touch as I go provides a smooth contoured surface. Thanks, Dr. Graham, and thank you for checking out the Wednesday Watch. We'll see you next week with more from Dentistry Today and DNN.